What is up guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Just another beautiful day here in Dallas, Texas. I'm doing a job out here on Flower Mound here today and this is a Martin Logan 7.1 or 5.1.2 system and I'm using Epson 4050 projection system onto 120 inch high contrast gray screen. This is the room that I'm working with right here. This is a pretty standard uh, theater room that you would see in a new construction home in this area. Everything is pre-wired, which is gonna make our life extremely easy. We should be in and out of here in no more than six hours. So let me show you the exact products that we're gonna be using as a reference in case you would like to purchase some of these products for your theater room. Here, we have our Martin Logan IWs. These are the Electro Motion series, and these are gonna go in the rear of the room, which you can see is pre-wired right here and here. In the surrounds, we have the ICs from Martin Logan, Electromotion series. These have the folded motion tweeter. They create a very nice, clear dialogue. And these are gonna go here and here. I'm using the Slim XLs at the front of the room. I actually haven't done this configuration in a while. I'm pretty excited about it. These are on wall speakers. They're not in wall. The Electro Motion, actually they just call it Motion Slim XL. Very slim on wall speaker. And these are going to be located here, which are already pre wired. Now, based on my measurements, the screen is going to cover those. So I'm going to need to relocate the wiring out a little bit. Customer wanted to maximize screen performance. So we're going to also be moving that center speaker up and then the screen will mount right here. Projection is already wired for us as well. You can see we have the power outlet here and the pass through here, or it's a blank plate right now, but we're gonna put a pass through on it and we're gonna run the wire through the Smurf tube back to the home run location. Now, the Epson 4050 is the Pro Cinema model, which means that it does come with the projector mount, an extra bulb and an extended warranty. That basically means that we don't need an extra mount for this particular projector, which is nice. It saves you money and it gives the customer peace of mind knowing that they have that extended warranty. As far as the subwoofer, we're using the, the Dynamo 1100X. And that is gonna be terminating here where the builder pre-wired it. All of the equipment is gonna go in our strong SRFS system, the DC-15U. And this is gonna be located here in the closet where all of the wiring is terminating. You see we have all our wiring right here and we're going to unbundle that and take it nice and clean right into our rack. We're also going to be hardwiring everything into our router right here. I'm going to be using for surge protection the little tiny watt box for our subwoofer as well as the projector. We want to make sure that the customer's equipment is under warranty if they do get hit by lightning and then we're going to be using the watt box power rack 11 outlet lighted kit which you see me use in a lot of our installation this has 2160 joules which should be sufficient for the amount of equipment that we're going to have which is very basic we're going to use an integra receiver customer is going to use an xbox one as well as a roku ultra and that's it. We're also gonna hook up a Harmony, which is going to make it very easy for the customer to operate everything with one button press. So I got my guys here. We're gonna go ahead and get to work. You can see Grayson's already popping off these plates behind me. We're gonna get everything installed, show you the process of installation, so that if you purchase products from us, you can use this video as a reference for installing your own home theater or have your local installer install it for you. Now, whenever we're done with the system, I'm gonna show you an overview of how the installation went and a demo of the system in action. So stay tuned and we will show you the installation as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. This is the IW unboxed. You can see it has the beautiful photo motion tweeter here and a six and a half inch woofer. Very well built constructed speaker. Has push button terminals here. Tensioned nice titanium feet which grab onto the sheetrock. 
So Grayson just traced out the wall and now he's cutting the square that is needed for the particular speaker to go into the wall. Martin Logan provides this cutout template which shows you the exact size that the speaker needs to be. You can cut your string off and you're just going to take about a quarter inch out of the wire. Pull your shielding back and then the wire is going to be stranded so you're going to twist them together so that they go into your terminal easily. Red goes to red, black goes to black, speaker wire is pretty easy. And then you're going to insert the speaker into the wall and you see those four little screws you're basically just going to screw it into the wall and those feet are going to pop out and grab onto the sheetrock it is important that you use a level make sure that the unit is level with earth if not you're going to have a little janky installation at dream media we like perfection right gray yes sir Martin Logan includes this very nice magnetic bezel-less grill, which just snaps right onto the speaker after you ensure that it is level. And that is a perfect installation. So I'm gonna quit narrating this and I'm gonna let Grayson go around the whole room and pop these in. So it's the same process on all of the speakers. I gotta check my emails and phone calls. You guys are blowing me up. Your motion I sees and close back. Mm -hmm. Nice terminal. Make sure you aim your tweeter at the audience. Habitat. Fulfilling orders. Fulfilling orders. For you guys. Number one. Dragonfly 120 inch gray screen from Snap.
really good progress. You can see right now Grayson's got his mad scientist look on his face over here, mm -hmm. working on getting those measurements precise. We're gonna be relocating the wiring that is located right here behind the screen out, and we're gonna make it equal on all sides so that there's a really nice aesthetic look to these speakers. That way they all look very well balanced and clean. What we've done here is we've relocated the wiring from here through a stud that was here and behind this so we can get it equally aligned on both sides and from behind the projector and a clean installation. Looks good, Greg. Are you going to do the other side? Yep. The other side's going to be a little bit easier um, over here. we got a stud here, so I'm just going to simply drill down. I already got where I'm going to mount my bracket, and I'm going to cut a hole right behind it. And then it's just going to be easy fish and uh, mount it up there for you guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. What we got here. Grayson's fishing the wire from one hole to the other, making it hidden in the wall so it looks really clean. All the wiring is going to be out of sight and they'll be spaced the exact same distance on each side. It's going to look really good. Okay guys, uh, this is the Strong FS series rack. You see me use this every day. They come in all different sizes. This is a 15U rack. They come in 21, 27, 42 if you need bigger, but for a single theater room solution, I love it. It's perfect. It's small. Hides everything, makes it really nice and neat, and it looks good. So, um, it also has fans built into the top and nice casters, and all the shelves are already installed, so it saves a bunch of time on labor. These things ship exactly like this. I love it. Pretty affordable, too. If you're looking at like Mid Atlantic or anything like that. This is a better option. Here's the SKU SRFS System DC-15U. I have these guys in stock all the time too, so availability is not an issue. I just love how clean it looks. Nice glass door on the front. Locks up, you can keep the kids out of there. This is the interior here. We actually have an arrangement with the manufacturer on these too, so I can direct ship them to you at no cost. You would think with something this heavy and big, you know, shipping would be a fortune, but you know, we're in Texas here and this manufacturer has locations all around the country, so I can typically get it to you in a couple days. So, right here is the little manual that kind of shows everything that's included. Fan is already built in with the power supply, and I like to use the light kit. Let me show you that. Light kit looks good. is they also guarantee a certain dollar amount. This one's $25,000, so this would definitely cover the equipment that's gonna be in here, well over. But I like these tube lights here. You can pull them out like this. Tube lights, and I'll put it right here at the top. And what it'll do is it'll just kind of illuminate the whole front, giving it a, a nice, cool look. Now, all these panels are removable, so when you're dressing your rack, it's very convenient. Let me show you how it breaks down. You can even take the front door off, just like that. Side door. And they pop right back on two seconds. 
but this allows you to, as you're doing your work, you can get your wires nice and tidy because you have more space to work around. So this particular unit only comes with two shelves, which is normally sufficient. You can get more if you need it. I'm going to go ahead and get my equipment put in and we'll go from there. Woo! Look at this, guys. You're doing work in here. <laughs> it's looking good. Perfect. We got our, our speakers perfectly centered up on the wall here. Look at that. Dragonfly. Woo, dragonfly high, high contrast. High contrast. It's looking sharp, boys. Perfectly spaced. Perfect tight. Next step, it's the center speaker. All right. The tackle. Knock that out. Let's see what we're going to do. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's looking good. What is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today I'm going to be unboxing the Dynamo 1100X. This is the new model that just came out about six months ago. Uh, you've seen us unbox all the other models as well. Uh, you want to check out our channel if you're looking around uh, trying to see the difference between them. We do have those unboxings available as well as we have demos of them in complete media rooms like this. And if you're interested in yeah. what's going on here, this full video will be up as well. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Maybe you guys are looking to purchase an item. Uh, make sure you are purchasing from an authorized reseller. Three Media Home Theater is an authorized reseller of Martin Logan. So you will get a full manufactured warranty. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on all items. Make sure to check out our reviews online. We do pride ourselves on our service. Alright, so inside of the sub, first thing you see after you flip it over is the manual right here, which actually has the all the models listed. And all these models are on our channel. This is kind of cool. Basically says that before it left the facility, a physical person tested this unit to ensure that we're not upset after we put the whole room together and the unit fails. Makes my life a lot easier as a custom installer so we can get more jobs done efficiently and have happy customers. Quality product that I do stand behind. This is the power cord. This is the grill. The reason the grill isn't installed, two reasons, so it doesn't get damaged in shipping as easily. Um, also, because this particular unit is directional, so you can have it frontward firing or downward firing depending on where you're putting it in the room. So, let's take a look here. Let's see what we got. Very similar construction as a 1600. A sub right here. Just a smaller woofer. Let's roll it over. You guys can take a look. So it's a very sleek, modern, good looking sub. Very compact, small. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me back up here. Very sleek, small, compact. Here's the back of the unit. Yeah, uh, speaker level input left and right, as well as a balanced XLR for LFB if you have wiring for it. In this particular situation, and like most of the homes here in North Dallas, RCA is ran, uh, actually RG6, coax, and then we put a RCA tip on it. There is LFE here for that purpose, as well as stereo left and right inputs. You got a trigger. You got auto and on for your power modes and trigger. And then you have USB, your level. And then this actually has an app that you can download and you can mess with all these EQ settings through the app the over the Wi-Fi, or you can do it here locally on the back. These are all of our speaker lines. So here's a power cord, and then they have a wireless module connector, Cat six uh, for the projector. which can go there. Now so you can see if you did change the orientation of the subwoofer, this would be where you would move the feet to, so the whole unit would flip. And then I'm gonna give you guys an up close shot of the subwoofer. All right, the 1100X high resolution sub.
from one of those. Where, and the orange too. No? And now, Martin Logan. And you guys can see in the back behind me, I have the Slim Max L's mounted up on the wall. We do sell those as well in the full Martin Logan line as well as many other manufacturers. So if you're interested in any home theater gear, make sure you give us a shout. Um, this is the unboxing of the Martin Logan, the Dynamo 1100X. If you guys would like to purchase this product, make sure to give us a call, shoot us an email. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. All right, we're moving right along in this install. Everything's looking super clean here in the front of the room. All of the front speakers are mounted, looking sharp. Now, we are going to mount the projector. You can see the boys already got the fish tape through the Smurf tube. This little orange tube here in the ceiling which is how all the homes are wired here in North Dallas, which makes life very easy. So we're gonna just fish an HDMI cable through this tube back to our termination point, okay, which six. is going to be in the closet over here. We're also gonna be using Cat6, as Grayson just mentioned. And the reason is because we're gonna do a universal remote system. The IR is going to connect Basically, the cat cable is just to extend the IR for the Harmony system so that you don't have to use line of sight because nobody wants to mess with that. So this is where everything's terminating. You can see we already have our stuff lined out in the rack. We're going to go ahead and get everything installed and everything fished through. It's pretty simple. The whole idea behind the tape is that you're just attaching your cables to it and pulling it through. Very simple. If you don't have one of these and you're trying to do an install, I would recommend it. It makes your life a lot easier. All right, now we're gonna put the projector up. Take the projector out, we're the 40, 50 today. And comes with the cheap mount, specifically designed to the Epson projector. As well as an extra bulb, three year warranty as well. Already got my center marked out right there and this here is the stud so we're gonna go like this on it like that and then put two drywall anchors right here 100 pound drywall anchors in the, uh, that portion all right now we got our two drywall anchors in here 100 pounds each and then we got these two lags into the studs. So this puppy's not coming down anytime soon. Hello, it's me, Zach. In Iraq. In Iraq, Zach in Iraq. You don't see me back here very often. We're on a time crunch. Normally this is Grayson's job, but what I'm doing is we've just toned out all of our speaker lines and we are connecting it into the amplifier. And basically just toned all of uh, the seven channels and we're putting them into the terminals. Not a whole lot to it. Um, we've also made connections for IRs to the devices and the projector. We had to splice that one in using the CAT6 line. We just used two strands and we're using the Harmony Pro system. 
uh, for my customers who are shipping it. Um, that is a very common remote that I use for you guys because it's very easy to program and it also has a remote interface where we can help you if needed. But literally the Harmony is just plug and play. It's, it's awesome. Um, you can do it from your phone. It's that easy, unlike some of the other systems we offer. We also have hardwired all of the devices into the router so that the customer will be able to operate the system at its peak potential. We want to make sure that when they're streaming their 4K content, there is no lag or delay. That's about all I got for you. Can you come kill this camera, Gray? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I am now done with the rack. <clears throat> It is all tidy. If you look, give you a close up. All of our wires are tied up in an organized way. All the way up the side channels and into the back. We have everything hardwired. This is the surge protector up here. Network switch. He has his memory tied into the network so he can access his files. This is the Xbox, the Roku Ultra, as well as the Harmony Hub. Everything, all the extra wires for additional components are right here that are easy to access should we need them in the future. The wiring for the modem is coming here. And then the Harmony is sitting right on top. This is the Harmony Pro, and Grayson is working on getting it programmed as we speak so that the customer can control of these devices. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the doors put on this guy, which will make it look really sharp. listening to where cinematic audio has been. Because we are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary? Precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back, or moves anywhere in between. Today, you will feel every direction. How does that sound? What if there were tools that from you you had better quality, quality video? Tools that proved ideas could move 
in any way. Yeah, so this is like uh, the video quality you okay. can expect. Now. It'll be probably better than this, okay. uh, depending on what you're streaming or right. watching. But before it was like what you're going to expect in audio. Right. But look at how clear this picture yeah. is. I mean, you're getting... Yeah, yeah beautiful. Guys, we just wrapped up this project. Everything went perfect. Customer is extremely happy, as you can see from the demo. Everything sounds really good and looks really good. I'm gonna just give you a, a recap of what we have here. This is these are the Slim XL from Martin Logan on our front left, front right, and center speakers here at the front. We have our Dynamo 1100 over here in the corner, and then overhead here I have the Epson 4050 this is an e-ship 4K. Extremely affordable, but produces a beautiful image, in my opinion, for the money. And the screen that we're using is a Dragonfly. High contrast gray. Right here to my surround left and right, we have our ICs. These are the Electro Motion series from Martin Logan, right here and here. And then in the rear of the room, we have our surrounds, surround mirrors. Actually, we configured this as Atmos, even though the location isn't perfect for Atmos, the room's kind of funky, we still ended up doing a 5.1.2 in the configuration. It sounds awesome. I mean, ideally, you would have them like right here in a square ceiling, but you know, we may do, we put them where they were pre-wired and it still sounds good. We have the tweeters rotated towards the target seating area, which is right here in front of me. Like I said, it sounds awesome. If you guys would like to purchase any of these products, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. If you're in Dallas, we can actually do the installation for you and still provide those low prices. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.